Kann er bauen? Was ist das? Was? Was ist das? Ist das die Volvo? Was sind das? Das ist das Volvo. Volvos don't go through mud. Was sind die? Sie gehen durch fucking mud. Was ist das? Jesus, Jesus. Das ist alles, was ich kann afford. Das ist alles, was ich kann afford. Volvo Red Flaps. Das ist ein Scratchy Jew, das sucks, dude. Now, Josh. Language. You got to let it you. Think we got enough washers? You. You got to let it. Now the Prius Semi has has a light bar. Friggin' four days in Newfoundland. Think we got enough washers there, bud? Oh man, that looks terrible. <laughs> Where's the turbo on this? Oh, look at the little turbo. Right, so we're gonna try it. Got the upfitter on? Alright, give us high beams. Give us high beams. Slide on. Turn it back on. It's not. There it goes. Yeah, the high beams weren't coming on. Now, yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to start. Did you turn the lights on? Yeah. Come see it. Yeah, we'll see those moose now. See the mooses. to Nova Scotia. We got the 650 loaded on with the camper. It's a six, seven hour crossing. I'll see you guys on the other side. And we'll get to actually talking about this truck and why it exists. <laughs> Services. All right, to the floor. To the floor, we're gonna power out this turn. How much boost are we making? Oh, fucking no. <laughs> oh, you don't have the gauge? No, no boost. No, uh, no boost gauge? No. Okay, we're gonna assume there's, there's boost on the go, I guess. Here. Oh, she's picking up. It's going. We're at 80. We're at 80. How much does the camper weigh? Seven? This one? Uh, probably 9,000? 9,000, I think. That's not too bad. This is a big hill. It's not switching gears, but... Uh, What's this one's called? Kelly's Mountain? This is Kelly's Mountain. Yeah. yeah. Kelly's Mountain is uh, like the most intimidating hill in Nova Scotia. Yeah, so it's actually not that bad. 220 horsepower definitely gets the job done. Yeah, this is Steve's part. This hill is 12%, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. 11 or 12. Maintaining 80. That's pretty good. You find that since you put the light bar on that it hauls a bit better? Yeah, that, that really helps, yeah. How much do you think it helps? I don't know, I think it puts like, you know, an extra 40, 50 uh, horsepower. What did it say on the box? Box? Uh, no, they don't just. Oh, shit. Yeah, as soon as I turn it on, you get over a bump. Alright, so since we're in this thing, we're gonna make a little review on the F650. Uh, it's certainly different. I, I've only been in a couple transports, so I've only driven them maybe a couple times, not very far. Um, it's more comfortable and manageable than that. 
but it is a whole lot less comfortable and manageable than what I'm used to driving, the F350 or the F250. Now I'm pretty comfortable with the interior of this truck because it's like the uh, it's like the pre-2008 steering wheel and everything and controls, but the dash is from my F250 or a truck similar. So it does have all the creature comforts of the smaller, more comfortable trucks. You can use the same seats and everything, but you're way higher. What I find personally is that it's harder to judge where your bumpers are and where you're gonna hit stuff, but after a while, like Josh here, uh, who owns the truck, said after a while you just get used to it and you learn where the corners are. Something, especially if you're into hot shot. Uh, hot shotting requires a lot of empty driving because you don't always have time to uh, find partials or uh, returning loads, so this thing is gonna be rough. As you can see from the first second of this video, friggin' went over a bump and sent everything flying. 50s and the, well, 560 through 750, um, they're actually made for uh, not more towing, but more cargo capacity. They're meant to be loaded, they're meant to be dump trucks, they're meant to be straight trucks, flatbeds. Uh, this one used to be a box truck, actually. Uh, we took the box off and cut, like, what, four feet off the back? Yeah, about four feet, yeah. Four feet, and then put the fifth wheel hitch and Voila, it was a great truck for towing. They're great. But comparing it to an F350, F450 with the same like leaf spring suspension, this one has 12 leaves. Leaves. Side. Leaves. Leaves. 12 pieces of metal stacked on top, and you can feel every goddamn one of them. Um, passing, even with just a camper on, is nearly impossible. Um, it's basically like going up a hill, you're seeing you can do 65 faster. So that's that's a bit of a struggle. Something you don't get with the pickup trucks. But now the point of that is that this motor, this Cummins motor, this inline six, is gonna last oh like four times, if not more, what a pickup truck motor would last. Now of course you could detune a pickup truck, but of course that's modifying. You're gonna lose your warranty. These things are built to work from the factory, and that is the entire point of it. But the, the wide angle mirrors, you need to be able to see the corner of the vehicle in. Roll down the windows. Woo! How's that? And 450s are considered as pickup trucks. Is this even in focus? This is probably, the focus on this is probably all messed up again. Oh, it totally is too. All right, sorry about the focus, guaranteed messed up. Two, three, four, uh, 50 Super Duties all have beds on them, they're all pickups. Once you go 550, end up, they're detuned, smaller turbo, they're derated, um, and they don't come with beds. Now that's usually a good thing for people like us because we can put things like sleepers on them and you can put more equipment on them. You can mount APUs, um, like he's got this generator here. There's no good place to put that in a pickup unless you just throw it in the box. So these are easily customizable. He's got the minimizer fenders. These are really better for towing and trucking and just working in general. Where, where a pickup the reason why I wouldn't really want to go to one of these, and I'm not saying that I will never, but the reason why I'm happy in the lower, the 450s, even the 350, I mean really the only thing the 350 is missing is the 19.5 in commercial tires, but what this one gains in payload, I find you lose in maneuverability. These are usually longer, you can get the same wheelbase so, but the 650 anyways is super high. It's, it's a big truck. You're not going to fit it as many places as you could a regular truck. For example, I can take mine just barely through a car wash. Just barely. They spit me back out sometimes when I don't get it lined up perfect. Yeah, it's really annoying. Like $12 gone, you have to go through like two or three times, but eventually you'll get your freaking truck washed. This thing, not a damn chance. You're doing it yourself. And if you're either really busy or really lazy like me, it's just not going to, it's just not going to get them. Okay. Same cab, same, yeah, same cab. Just the chassis, is different. yeah. Your chassis. For a long, long time, they've used the uh, 2000 or the 1999 or 19, yeah, 1999 to 2016 cabs. It's the same cab as my F250. Um, it's just everything else is different. The chassis is different. The front clip is all different. And uh, the only reason they're so high is because they can accommodate taller motors. It's usually your cat motors, your uh, your Cummins. The, uh, like, they just have longer oil pans. They usually have longer strokes to pr provide more torque. Um, so you're just looking at a taller motor. 
hold more or more oil, make more torque and you need the taller truck for that you're not going to fit a cat motor in a pickup period no matter what kind of cat you get it's also easier to work on you get more equipment underneath power takeoffs and of course if you're using a dump truck then you can get a bigger uh, dump bed on these so yeah that's just an overview and what I think of the F650. I've been in and around it now for a few days. Oh frick, that was a week, wasn't it? Close to a week. Yeah, we were, we were supposed to be getting to our destination. We were getting to tonight. Four or five days ago? Something like that. Well, you were supposed to be there a week ago. That's bad. I'm so oh, sorry. I was supposed to be going to Edmonton a week ago. Yeah, you would have been in Edmonton now if it wasn't for me. <laughs> That's my thoughts on the 650. Just help you decide, you know, maybe you'd want a, a medium, does a medium duty. Right? Yeah, it's medium. Like it's a light medium duty, but it's, yeah, it's a medium duty whether you want a medium duty, a pickup, a chassis cab. Uh, all right, guys. So yeah, so I hope that was helpful for those of you who are looking for a truck or thinking about getting into the industry. Danger underscore Industries. That's my Instagram that I do not post on, but I I, I, I do I do every like once a couple times a year. I mean, it's worth a follow. That's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. You guys, you guys have a good day. We'll get the sunset. Hang on, we'll go to 35 now. Get the sunset. It looks like shit.